guys are going to be so excited to make this. It's so fun. Just the process itself. If you have food coloring at home, um, or even you can probably do it with some paint that's maybe watered down a little bit. I have watercolor paper, um, which works really well. You can also do a coffee filter or regular drawing paper. So we're gonna show you a bunch of different ways to do this and have fun. You ready? Mary, are you ready? Yeah. I'm not sure she's ready. Okay. I have an old bottle that I, I filled with water. Um, it's a spray bottle, so I can easily get water onto my paper. Another thing you probably will want is like a, a mat to put under your things. It does kind of get messy. Uh, I just grabbed a paper plate. Um, another thing you could use to do your art on. So we're gonna use the paper plate underneath, just in case. And we're gonna spray the paper, make it wet. What color do you wanna do first? Okay, we have to act quick because our paper's drying. Go! Now we get to move it around. We need to do this blue part. You ready? Do some blue. And this one. And this one. Cool. So this is regular drawing paper. Now we're gonna try it on, they look like trees. Do they look like trees? Now we're gonna try it on watercolor paper. Ready? So it's, watercolor paper is a little bit thicker and the paint can't absorb into it as, as much as the regular drawing paper, which leaves it um, ready to spread more. So I just sprayed the paper, it's nice and wet. And we're gonna add little droplets to it. Ready, Marin? Mm -hmm. Wow, that's so cool. Wow. <laughs> oh. Super cool. <laughs> 